Hello and welcome to the Orc Framework tutorial series. Today we're going to be over, going over uh, status values and status development for your combatant. In this case, brown pants, the world famous brown pants. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to set up all of our status values. This is where we go in here and we just change this to max HP. I'm typing very slowly for some reason. And that is in status values status. So max HP we want this to be uh, normal. It doesn't uh, have to change at all. We can edit our range here from zero because we want there to be a zero. And then 9,999. Okay. That's good to go. Now let's, uh, we're going to need a total of 12 of these. So let's add a couple more. So the number should read 11. There we go. For this, we're going to do HP. This is a consumable. And we want our death on minimum, which, if you remember, our minimum here is zero. So that's good to go. Changes to value. We don't want it to be a percent. Uh, no regeneration. The rest of this can pretty much stay where it is. Okay. Now we want, uh, on our next one, we want max MP. Change that, or leave that as normal. Edit the values from zero to 999. Click OK. We also want this to be. Oh, that, that, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. So, in the next one, changes to MP. I think you're you're catching on to the to the the pattern here. Change that to value. There, we don't want our we don't want a death on minimum. If the player uses up all their MP. We don't want them to die necessarily in this particular thing this particular demo, so make sure that this is max MP, not uh, not HP. Consumable, max H, max MP, none, start value. We'll change that to... We'll change our start value of the MP to... There we go. Okay, so that's fine. I don't think it'll really matter too much. And then we go into here, our next one, and what we want is attack. ATK. And the reason you want to abbreviate these things is it has a couple of factors. Screen resolution for your columns and your menus. You want them to be able to adjust to screen resolutions very easily and keeping them Kind of short and understandable is the best way to do that. So this is attack normal. Let's change our value for. Uh, let's put the minimum as a one. Well, we leave it zero. It's fine because we're going to change that somewhere else. Uh, 255. Okay, we're going to make all of these 255. So this will be. You know what we can do actually? Let's uh, let's do this. Take this guy. Copy. 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 Move that last one. That last one's not going to be same as the others. So defense M def or let's do M A T K and then M def and Aggie and uh, luck. Let's see did I forget any? Let's look at our list here. Tech defense and oh dex okay so you'll notice this is this is a uh, oops this is luck a bit out of order from the actual list but that's fine if it is like that you want to just move this there there you go that kind of puts things back in the order that you may or may not want okay so. Let's just double check all these, make sure they're good. Okay, yep, that's good to go. Now what we want to do is add our last one, and we're adding this one because it's experience, and it's a totally different type. We want to make sure that we get all these right, we don't miss anything. So experience, we want that to be a consumable. And... I'm sorry. We want it to be an experience right next to consumable. We just want to change our range. We're going to make this a little easier for us and we're going to change that experience maximum to a 
to a lower number. Let's do it actually. Let's do it a hundred thousand. Something a little more fathomable. And click OK. And then we want to go down here. And if you read the tooltip, it tells you what each one of these does. So it doesn't automatically level up as a none. You since we're gonna we're gonna do that for our tutorial is have them automatically level up once the experience is rewarded per level. So we're gonna want to change this to level, as you can see here. Um you don't need to worry about from minimum and all this sort of stuff. You can just kind of leave all that alone and that should we should be done here. So now what we want to do is we want to create our player development. So we're going to go to status development. And you'll see that all these values are here. If we were to remove these values here, they would not appear here. So that's why you want to start in your values and then move already over to your development. And that's why we just kind of create these static numbers in you know, each of these 0 to 255. Because player development determines kind of how they're going to uh, actually develop in those stats, what their max maxes will be. So let's go here first at the very top, change this to player development. There we go. Whoops. Hit the cast button there. Player development, edit level range, and change it to 99. Pretty standard stuff. Okay. That was weird. Changed, changed that one as well. <laughs> okay. So we want to go to our max HP and create a curve. Let's edit the curve. That's that's fine. Uh, we're actually going to ease in quad, generate the curve. There you go. So that your health is going up by a larger amount until the very end. You'll see here it, it only goes up a couple relative to the actual number. This almost doubles, you know, in the beginning here. So. Um, we're going to do an easing quad, and we're going to do that for all of these curves. Pretty simple stuff. This is a, a decent curve for for a lot of this sort of stuff. So, max MP, edit a curve. And, oh, another thing, let's just go back out here. You'll notice that there's no MP and a, uh, HP here. That's because they're consumables. So, consumables don't get a, a curve development they don't need it they kind of go off of the max hp and max mp per level and they're consumable elements so they don't need to be here let's go in here let's do ease in quad and this is where we start messing around with some stuff so let's give them five generate curve there you go and let's go back in here and change this one and you'll see it keeps the number, so if you want some things to reproduce, that's pretty simple there. And just 200, generate, whoops, huh. ease in quad, generate curve. There we go. And you can mess with these really however you want. So you can change them around and do whatever. So like in the tutorial, it actually shows this is 150. I'm just doing it to 100, but we'll change that. And you notice the max MP we put is 0 before. And that's because we just want to use that as our base values. And this is our uh, what the player will actually start out with. Change this to 50. Let's just give him a little more magic. A little more ability to use his magics. I'm going to change all these real quick. Actually, just realized that's gonna. Excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me again. Sneezing. Okay, so just was re uh, decided not to go that route. Makes it harder to keep track of it. Um, so our starting attack value, we're gonna set to 15. Uh, ease in quad. Generate curve. Boom. There you go and save that and then we're going to go down to our defense edit curve change that to 10 uh, ease in quad generate curve and so on so let's go down to curve here magic attack 3 150 
50. Just changing it so the magic attack can have a minimum. There you go. Okay. Magic defense. We'll do 5 and 180. Then change this to each in quad. And we're going to do that for all of them. Let's go down to. lower this one quite a bit. Use its luck. Don't give him too much. Alright, experience. Now this is the one that we want to, we're really going to need to mess with. So, it's going to work. This is the one that's going to determine how your character grows per level. So this is the place where you're going to want to kind of like mess with stuff a little bit. And I would encourage you to check out the rest of these and see what kind of curves they that they do create. There's a lot that are, you know, you may want something like this to where there's a huge grind here in the middle. Let's see. 50,000. Yeah. Look right here, it takes like 10 grand in experience to get from 50 to 51, and then 4 grand, and then 3 grand. So it comes out again, but. You can do stuff like that. But we're, for the purpose of this, we're just going to do ease and quad. Nice, stable curve. And then confirm. Okay. So that is that for player development. Now what we want to do is we want to take our player development and we want to add it to our combatant or ensure that it is on the combatant. And there it is. Start level. Set this to 5. I already have this here. Set it to 5 so that our player starts at level 5 and you don't need to worry about any of this stuff that's all other, other things status changes okay and that looks like we are good to go double checking here alright save settings save it all alright okay so that's it and we have our status values complete I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.